your name, where are you from, and why are you here today? Chuck, New Jersey, and I live in the Bay Area, San Francisco. I'm on my way home from work. And how long have you lived in California? October of 78. Wow, that's, that's, you know, I was born in California and you have lived here longer than I've been alive. Thank you for that. <laughs> for being alive? For being young? <laughs> for that you perspective? You <laughs> Thank you for having a good sense of humor, Chuck. Of course, so, so you, you have a certain vested interest now as a Californian. What's your take on the proposal that you're going to be facing this fall to split California into three states? This is a wealthy white man from Silicon Valley who says, I want more money. I don't want to be a part of, I don't want to be a part of Northern California or Southern California. I want to be separate. That's all it is, is a, a typical wealthy white man who thinks he could be in charge. And it's not fair. California is California. So what do you think his financial incentives are that he would, and, and how would he benefit from the state being split up? He probably thinks he can be Trump and be a businessman and keep lots of money for himself and not give it to the states who really need it for their, for the poor, for the unhealthy, for the seniors. Do you don't think there's a bigger interest here among the, the general Democrat or, or left side of the American political spectrum that would see uh, so six senators from these three new states instead of two from just California? I guess. I never really looked at it political, but we're, we need to stop looking at political. We need to look at people. And him splitting it up is just, he wants to be greedy. He wants money. Well, speaking of looking at people, do you think people in Washington, D.C. should be making decisions for people in California? Part. It should be our senators and our congresspersons to work with them in DC, in DC to say, hey, California could use money for this and this is why. So you don't think California should split off and be its own nation either? No. Mm -mm. California should be California, the 50 states, the way our founding fathers started the country. Well, actually the founders started by saying, screw you, King George, we're not going to be a part of that empire anymore. But it, that was also political and at that time frame was very religious. It was because they were, they wanted to be Catholics and I think the King George was saying, no, you have to be Episcopalians or something. That people wanted to be Baptists and the future Baptists. And so they yeah, there were various religious freedoms that people were fighting for. But you don't, you don't think California should, should do the same thing? Uh, you said, you know, because of what the founders wanted to, to overthrow empire, to get away from the American empire? It's the same as what they tried to do in Texas. Texas tried to do the same thing, and that, that failed. Because it's, it's like somebody else just thought, no, we don't really need to do this. Why? It's the 50 states. It's the way it just should be. Of course, if you want to include Puerto Rico, of course, which we should, and D.C. But I leave California the way it is. But you cited the founders and their vision for how this was set up. And it was actually originally set up as 13 independent countries under the Articles of Confederation. And eventually, we build and build and build and build and got more states. Um, but I just think it looked, again, this way. That guy from Silicon Valley, he's just greedy and he wants more money for himself. He, he probably doesn't want his taxes to go anywhere else, which they should go to this to everybody in the state, not just to his favorites. So if it's because of the wisdom of the founders and it's good for this country to, to stick together for all, the, for it's good for California, it's good for Texas to be a part of the United States government, not just the idea of America, but to be part of, to be tied under that one government. It, should, what about Alberta? Should Alberta join the United States? Should, should they get away from the Canadian uh, British Empire? That's their problem. That's their problem. They're Canada. I think they're probably happy with Trudeau. Uh, well, should every st every every country in the world then join the United States as a state? Is that if they want, why not? But then they're not in the United States itself. They're not attached to the United States, or they're not close like Hawaii. Or Alaska. Okay. Or Alaska. If Canada wants to. Let Puerto them. Rico, or the Virgin Islands, or any of the other far-flung territories that are part of the United States. Yeah, why not? But if Canada wants to, that's that's their option. So if people want to be a part of this bigger system, they should be able to. But then if they don't want to be a part of it, they should be able to opt out, right? Correct. Why not? So a state, if it wants to secede, should be able to secede, should be able to split off? I guess. So if a state has that right, should, does an individual have that right? Should I be able to, to split off on my own property? What happens if, okay, okay, this guy from Silicon Valley, he gets his wish. California splits up in three states. But then what happens if somebody in one section of the state doesn't want to be a part of it? Or all of a sudden when you come to find out that say, hey, um, you're in the Silicon Valley state and all of a sudden next thing you know you want to go over to the Northern California and then you're told, oh, that's a toll charge of $50. Uh, n no, I don't. I'm not paying that. And then all of a sudden, it's like then, then everything. It, it's just it's it's coming down to greed. 
I, all I think it is it's coming down to greed. Well, do you think centralizing power is good or bad for greedy people and being you know good for for them being able to, to screw the rest of us? No, no, no. No, I don't think anybody should be screwed over this. We should all work together. But the problem is there's greedy people who only look out for themselves. And if you pay me $50,000, I'll look out for you. It sounds like you're against people being forced into systems that they don't want to be a part of, right? Yeah, that's the way it should be. We should all be able to work together. But you got people in Washington, D.C., and you got people in L Los Angeles, or you got people in San Francisco, or they're just going to say, well, you need to do it this way. Well, look, why can't we all work together? Well, shouldn't we be able to just opt out on our own as individuals then and say, look, hey, I don't want my money going. Then move, move out of California. Well, what if you own property in California? Guess what? Sell it. Move out. That's so, what people are doing. I mean, you, you got, I, what was it in today's Chronicle? A family moved to Frisco, Texas because they could buy a house. Frisco, Texas and somewhere in Colorado. They moved there because they couldn't find anything here. Well, then, sorry about that, you know, and things will get better, but it's just going to take time, and there's also the greed. You know, you have a house to sell. You're, you're going to sell it because that guy over there is worth $4 billion. You're going to sell it knowing fully well that it's not really worth $7 million. It's only worth 250000 But you're going to be that greedy and give an opportunity of a family who's moving here and they have the 250000 and they say, you know, I'm going to sell it to that person because they got millions of dollars. It's greed. But this thing about moving away, I mean, it sounds like what you're suggesting is driven by greed, too, is, is, is promoting the greediness no, of people and say, if you want to leave. Here. Some of these people can't find what they want here. Well, what if you have what you want and you have your own property, you own a house, and you say, like, I don't want my taxes going to war. I don't want my taxes subsidizing the drug war. I don't want my taxes subsidizing corporatism. You're saying I got to leave? I can't, I can't just be free on my own property? You need to talk to your senator and you, or congressperson and talk to Washington, D.C. So I got to go beg for my rights. I, I reject that. I'm not going to beg for my rights. But, hey, sir, thank you for your time, and thank you for aging much more gracefully than most of us will hope Thank to. you to YouTube for hosting this video and for being an essential part of human progress by making video hosting available worldwide to everyone on the Internet. However, the next phase in human progress is here with Steemit.com and their video hosting alternative blockchain-based solutions, including DTube. And you can find that through Steemit.com, as well as my own page there, at Adam Kokesh. This is a decentralized blockchain-based social media network that pays you fairly for your content. Already, I'm regularly making more there with a single post than I do from an entire month on YouTube. So please join us on the next frontier of the information revolution at steamit.com. And if you want help getting a leg up there, I'm happy to re-steam your posts and make sure that no one is starting from scratch. Just email me one of your favorite posts at adam at thefreedomline.com and we'll share it on my feed.